Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Receivables Roundtable. Today, I'm with my friend, uh, Brian Williams from Crown Asset Management, a debt buyer uh, in Atlanta, Georgia area. How are you doing today, Brian? I'm doing well. How about you, Adam? I can't complain. Can you tell everybody a little bit about Crown Asset Management and what you guys do? Sure. Crown Asset Management uh, was founded in 2004. We are a national debt buyer. Uh, we are a, an RMAI certified professional receivables business operating in the arm industry. We've been a debt buyer, like I said, founded in 2004, uh, operate on a national basis. All right. And, um, you know, I've had the opportunity to work with your team over the past couple of months and, and obviously known you for the majority of my career. Um, and one of the things that I've always uh, kind of admired about Crown Asset Management is your, your level of involvement within your local community. And I know that's something that uh, most groups like to keep quiet. And as we've started working with you, we're trying to get it out there a little bit more um, because you guys do so many different things within your local community. So I wanted to kind of kick it off by asking you, you know, why are you so motivated? Uh, what motivates you to be so involved in your local community? Yeah, I think, you know, not only are we involved in our local community, but we like to be involved in communities around the country. Since we do business on a national level, um, you know, and as we've grown over the years, we've found that, you know, we enjoy being involved in charitable organizations or donating to charitable organizations that are meaningful, not only to us and our team members here at Crown, but to our vendor partners, to our agency partners and our law firm partners across the country. So, uh, you know, as, as our success grows, we, we like to find ways to give back to our local community and the communities of our partners around the country. Um, so as, you know, as I've gotten to know your organization and as I've, you know, kind of going through your website here, I can see that you guys are participating in just so many different organizations. What do you look for when you're choosing a charity to donate to? Yeah, well, the website looks great because of great people like, like you, Adam, and uh, all the work that you've done to help us enhance that website. But, you know, when we're looking at a charitable organization, you know, we like to find organizations to support that have meaning, not only to me, but to our staff, to our team here at Crown Asset, you know, things that are important or have impacted their lives uh, or have an impact in their lives. And the same goes for our vendor partners. You know, we tend to support charitable organizations that have meaningful involvement or are meaningful to our partners out in the field. You know, it's interesting that the, you know, operating in the arm industry as a debt buyer, we don't get a lot of positive press for our, for our businesses, for our industry. And there are a lot of great individuals and a lot of great companies that are doing fantastic things around our industry. And I think that it's important that uh, we share that uh, with, with the world. Well, I, I've been honored to have you guys supporting uh, the Naked Warrior Project and pretty much every charitable event that I've um, you know, hosted throughout this industry. You know, Crown Asset Management is always involved in some way, shape or form, and I greatly appreciate that. Um, so clearly you guys are out there supporting your partners, <laughs> um, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. And, you know, I think that you guys have such a great mix. I mean, it's everything from, you know, local sports to, to national organizations with a much broader focus. And I think that's just fantastic. Fantastic. Um, you know, at a lot of organizations, and I think you bring up a good point about how, uh, you know, the industry is not often viewed in a positive light. And I think it's important that organizations share some of the community involvement things that they're doing around the, uh, around their community, the local community, then even the national community, um, or even on the global scale. Um, but, you know, as we look at where to get started, and that's one of the big questions I get from people is they're not quite sure how to get started, um, you know, from a, a charitable perspective, um, any insight that you can provide, you know, for groups that uh, maybe have been kind of hiding in the shadows and are ready to step out into the light and start talking about all the great things that they're doing? Yeah, I think, you know, to your point earlier, I think that uh, we've quite often been a little quiet about what we've done around the community involvement 
Um, but realizing again that the, the industry doesn't get a lot of positive news and there's not a lot of positive things said or written about debt buyers or collection agencies or law firms in the collection space. So we've decided that we want to share that the, the good things that are happening, and there are so many other organizations inside of the arm industry that are doing fantastic things in their community and their local communities and around the nation. Um, and we try and find ways to support those types of organizations. You know, if I were to be asked, how do you get involved or where do you look to get involved? Talk to your, talk to your, to your team members, talk to the folks that are on your, on your staff, find out what, what drives them, what, what have, what charitable organizations are they involved in or have a meaningful involvement in their, in their lives? Same goes for our agency partners and our, our other vendors uh, where we find ourselves supporting individuals and other organizations that have a meaningful involvement in a, in a given charity in their community. That is awesome. Uh, what a great place to start, right? Like look internally at your own team, ask the people that you work with on a daily basis, whether they be internal or part of your kind of partner family um, around your organization. Brian, that is a great place to start. And I hope a lot of people can, uh, can kind of take that to heart um, and use that going forward with their own organization. So thank you very much for that. Um, for those of you that are watching at home today, uh, we greatly appreciate your time. Um, please feel free to comment below. Um, I'll leave a link below so you can take a look at some of the different organizations that Crown Asset Management has been supporting um, and hope that you can find some ways to support your own local community. Uh, if you have any additional guests that you'd like to see us interview or topics you'd like to see us cover, uh, please feel free to comment below and we will be sure to get back with you as soon as we can. Um, thank you everybody for watching today and see you next time.